Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. As I mentioned in the last movie, we can either connect directly to our ESX server or connect to vCenter. Now if we do have vCenter in our environment, then most of the time we are going to be connecting to vCenter and then administering our ESX servers from there. Some environments, though, don't have vCenter, so we're going to need to connect directly to an ESX server. Or let's say we just built an ESX server, and we need to connect to it to do some initial configuration. Well, to do that, I'm just going to double-click on my vSphere client. I could also go to the Start menu, All Programs, VMware, and launch the vSphere client from there. And here's where we'd want to put in the IP address or the host name of our ESX server. Mine is called esx01.itdvds.local. And type in a username and password. Now, if we're connecting directly to an ESX server, we're going to either need to use the root account if we just built it. And as we'll see in later movies, when we install ESX, we specify the password for the root account. Or an account that was set up on that ESX server for us. We are not going to use our Windows account to connect directly to an ESX server. As we'll see, we can use Windows accounts to connect directly to vCenter and then administer our ESX servers from there. So I'm going to go ahead and type in root and the password that I specified during the installation of this ESX server. I'll go ahead and click login. And we'll get a little certificate warning here. If I'd like to not see this warning anymore, I can check this box to install the certificate and then click ignore. And we get a little warning here about the evaluation period because I have not installed any licensing or serial numbers on this particular ESX server. And we'll see when we install ESX we have the option to install them now during the installation or later on maybe when we add this host to vCenter. So here we are. I'll go ahead and expand it out. This is the home screen. From here we can see our inventory or under administration we can add roles or view the system logs. Now when we connect directly to an ESX server we don't have too many options and that's mainly because ESX and vSphere was designed to work with vCenter and that's where we really see the full power of ESX and vSphere. But just a quick, quick little tour. I'm going to click on inventory. This brings us to our hosts and from here if I wanted I could right click create a new virtual machine, a new resource pool, insert or enter maintenance mode, shut down, reboot. We can view performance if we'd like, view a configuration or make configuration changes to this particular ESX server and we'll, also, we'll see all of this in later movies. Now real quickly let's close out and connect to vCenter. I'll just double click on our vSphere client again and here I'll type vcenter01.itdvds.local, that's the name of my vCenter server. And I can use the Windows credentials that I'm logged on with to this Vista desktop to log into vCenter if I'd like. That's kind of a quick and easy way. Or I can specify different credentials here. I'm going to go ahead and use the credentials that I'm logged on with. You can see I'm logged on as itdvds backslash administrator. I'll go ahead and click login. And I'll go ahead and install the certificate and click ignore. And here we are. There isn't much here right now because that's because we haven't added any hosts or any virtual machines yet. But watch, if I go to the home screen, you can see we have a lot more options. We have hosts and clusters, VMs and te templates, data stores and networking under inventory, roles, sessions, licensing, system logs vCenter server settings, vCenter service status, scheduled tasks, events, maps, host profiles, and customization manager. And throughout this training we're going to be going through each of these and throughout this training we'll also be connecting to vCenter most of the time. 